Hello everyone. As you may or may not know, uh, we went out and bought a new travel trailer. We sold the Geo Pro and bought this uh, Surveyor Legend 19 BHLE. Uh, it's a 2021 and we got it brand new. Got a great deal on it from uh, a camping world in Sherman, Texas from a salesman named Craig. I would recommend you look him up. He's a really cool guy. And uh, we just finished our first big project. Uh, if you know what the Surveyor Legend looks like normally, you would totally see what the new thing is but if you are not familiar with these trailers we well I'll tell you what he did obviously uh, we put this window in and uh, you know the window definitely gives us a better view of the outside than we did before you know before we did not have a window uh, so you couldn't see anything uh, out from the dinette at least on the camp side of things but now you can so you have this cool big window and uh, the window is from a brand called AP products and it's called the thin shade window uh, it's I think listed for about $70 on Amazon uh, we bought this over the Camco version uh, because I felt that it had more of a room for uh, error than uh, the Amazon or rather than the Camco one did and the reason for that is because it comes with um, you know, it has these screws here along the uh, frame, and uh, it's uh, it makes for installing it a little easier because I think the Capco one has some clips, and uh, I didn't want to have to deal with clips because I was reading that people, I guess, sometimes mess up the clips and it drops out, or during the installation process, it fall, the window falls out, whatever. But uh, obviously, I'm not doing this as a as a how to because I already installed the window. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and link some videos of people that have already done it, and that's how I thought to do it. I mean, we saw other videos and other folks that did it successfully. Uh, we kind of were successful. I mean, I used a jigsaw, just like everybody else did on the YouTube videos. But uh, the blade that I used was a little too short, so. There were instances when this side of the door, the inside of the door wasn't cut correctly. So I used a razor blade to finish the job. And as you can see, I don't know, I had the blade sitting flat, but maybe the blade had too much give on it. You can see it kind of started cutting inward. Uh, I don't know if you can make it out from there, but it started cutting uh, toward the inside. So it kept, you know, as a result, I had a bit of a lip on the inside that I had to get rid of. Uh, there's the it cuts at an angle. It's not good and it kind of happened on this side too you can see a little bit of the overhang the piece that I cut out this is a piece that was on the outside that got cut out so if you do this uh, to your survey or rather to any travel trailer I mean two points to consider the first one would be whether you're gonna take the door off or leave it on I left it on and that's probably why my cuts all screwed up uh, other people have taken it off and um, it seems like they've been more successful. And it seems like the people that leave it on usually have more trouble. Uh, I had a little trouble, not, not too much, but um, that's one thing to consider. If you need to take the doors off, uh, there's, at least on the surveyor, there's these screws on the friction hinge. There's three, what is it? Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18 screws. Uh, there's However many hinges there, but there's 18 screws. Uh, three times, what is three times 18, nine? Ah, six, sorry, there's six hinges. Uh, so you need to undo the three screws from each one. And the other point to consider is you should take the screen door off. And I had recorded a video initially where I was putting the screen door back on, trying to be funny, saying, oh, you know, I just finished doing X or Y and now I'm putting uh, the screen door back on but uh, I nixed that video and I'm recording this one and I'm telling you that you should take it off because if you try to do this while the door is open if you try to cut this door while it's open and uh, there's a chance that it'll flop on you and just screw the cut up worse so if you're doing it with the door on uh, take this off again in this case there's two four six um, screws on three hinges a total of three hinges one two three and uh, the door comes off easy enough uh, and that way at least when you're doing your cut you can close the door and have a stable surface 
Um, you might not be stable because you're going to be on a ladder, but you know, whatever. You you should be fine. I, I was fine. You should be fine. And the other thing I'm going to do at some point once I go to Home Depot is, is um, I'm going to buy some caulking and try to go around it. Uh, you know, it's seated pretty flat. I mean, I can't get my nails in there because uh, again, I was able to crank on all the screws uh, with AP Products um, uh, window here, but if uh, just a, you know, I'm paranoid, so I think I'm going to go over it with a bit of clear caulking. I don't have any right now. Uh, that's why I didn't do it yet. But I do plan on doing it. I mean, even the OEM, the Geo Pro, even the OEM windows, uh, window on the door had caulking on the outside. So I'm going to do that too. And the next project is I'm going to uh, change this with an RV Locks uh, door handle. I'm probably going to do that right now. And, uh, you know, don't be afraid of cutting into your door. Uh, you can, if something happens, you can salvage it. Don't, don't be too scared. I mean, you can just put some fiberglass. It might look pretty, but it'll be sealed from the elements and it'll look good. But if you take your time, go slow. I'm sure you won't screw it up. Uh, or if you do screw it up, you won't screw it up too bad that you can fix it. So any questions or comments, just please post them on the uh, comment section. And, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot. Take care.